Thanks for tuning in for an essential RC drive test that I conceived after filming the RC bike riders at my local Aldershot and Cotswold uh, tracks recently. I have put several of those videos up on the Essential RC YouTube channel and they went down really, really well. I've got a lot of comments back, some saying they'd never, some of you had never seen an RC bike in action. So it's fantastic to be able to share that and make that more widely known. I had a go myself uh, of one of those bikes uh, down at the track and it, it proved to me how challenging and skillful it is to drive one of these bikes, even more so than a typical RC car on a, on a track. So um, I thought, and after seeing some of your comments, it was suggested that we should try and capture onboard action on one of these RC bikes. Fantastic idea, but I'm taking that a step further and I'm wondering if we fit an FPV camera with the driver wearing a set of FPV, FPV goggles, whether they could drive the bike in FPV mode as opposed to line of sight, which they normally do. So I have got from Hobby King, the HKM 390 racer, eight scale on-road motorcycle. It's brushless and it's ready to run. You get everything in you need in the box to get racing. Uh, so that's that. And I've also got the fantastic run cam split FPV camera. Now the run cam split is fantastic because you can capture 1080p HD video on board this on an SD card. Uh, all FPV cameras transmit video to the goggles but it is far less than HD resolution so it'd be really good to capture very good video footage on this. So let's not hang around. What I'm going to do is take the bike out of this box and let's see how easy it is to retrofit that run cam split for FPV. Okay, so here we go. This is the HKM 390 brushless on-road motorcycle. Looks rather good. I have fitted the anti-roll bars, which are necessary if you crash, you want to get up going again without uh, your mate intervening and getting you back on track. Uh, and I get a lot of comments about, about this, but people think that they're cheating So as when you're going around the corners, they are touching on the ground. And I don't think that is the case a lot of the time. The gyroscopic effect of the rear wheel is what keeps this bike up when it's leaned over in the majority of the time. But only when you lean over too far do the, uh, those roll bars come into play. So they are, they are necessary. Um, so what you have are, is the brushless motor and then you've got a shaft in the middle and there's a belt going to that from the shaft output shaft to the motor and then another belt from that to the rear wheel and then you've got a steering servo on top. Um, you've got the receiver on top, brushless speed controller that's waterproof underneath. You get the fairing as well, that plastic fairing, which fits on like so. And then you've got the rider that fits on, a bit of an effort to get it on, like that, okay. You get a helmet as well that screws on to the, to the uh, top of that body but we won't need that because what I'm intending to do is make sure that that camera is in the place of the helmet so we get the rider's perspective while it's going along. Um, what is good I think is that the main part of the run cam split is going to have to go inside the body and that under the plastic and that's going to protect it which I think is no bad thing and then actually the aerial, I can probably direct downwards like that, I'm hoping, so that that gets protected as well. So in the event that this bike tumbles around, and there's no doubt it's gonna do that, it is gonna crash and tumble around, then hopefully this won't get damaged. Okay, so a little bit of surgery is required, but I am a qualified RC surgeon, so give me a few minutes and I will delicately fit this into the, the rider. So let's do that and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so there we go. 
Uh, minor surgery, no general anaesthetic required fortunately, but we did have to lose his head and I had to drill a big hole in his neck so that I could point the video cam uh, through. Uh, I think that's a really good position actually. It's kind of half through the windscreen and half over the top. So if you imagine if the track was slightly wet, the spray is going to get carried over the, over the top, over the cam, I think. The electronics for the run cam split are, are hidden underneath his back, under this hard plastic, which is really good, should it flip. And the aerial for the VTX, the video transmitter, is rooted out the back, and that's very nicely protected as well. Uh, looks really good with the decals, took about half an hour to apply those. So we're ready to take it for its first spin. Let's go do that now. Let's see what it looks like and uh, see what that view is like from the FPV cam. There we go. Sounded like two on the end. All right. OK, so we're all on, are we? Yeah. Should be. Yeah. You need to switch that Oh, yeah, yeah. We do a little switch. interesting to, to see what it picked up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thanks very much for doing that. Well, yeah, let's hope we get I'm really intrigued to see <laughs> yeah, how it will come out. Get. 